Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life and in today's video I am going to show you my fridge, what's in my fridge, freezer, and pantry. But first I'm going to have some lunch. So I'm having leftover spaghetti from last night and a bowl of fruit and then I'm going to clean up my messy kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I thought about cleaning it up before the video, but I wanted to show you reality because this is a reality channel. This is, yes, my life lately. Yes, garbage hanging there. Yeah, I'm gonna clean that up and then I'll show you the fridge, freezer, and freezer. Okay, much better, all clean. And I still have to put these dishes away. Anyway, it's cleaner for you. And I swept them off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where to start? So yesterday I got um, Publix grocery pickup. I even shined the refrigerator for you. And um, we've been getting it every Monday. The first time I went grocery shopping for the um, pandemic, whatever, I did it myself and it stressed me out. And actually, yeah, and they didn't have very much food. And, this, and then the first time I did Publix grocery um, pickup, or not pickup, grocery delivery, um, they didn't have very much food. I did all these and Publix, and then I just started doing Publix. And I don't know, now they have everything. So, and it is um, very expensive with the Instacart, because you know, if you do Instacart, the items are actually more expensive in the cart than they are in the store, and then plus the fees. So, but um, we aren't eating out at all. We're not even, yeah, we're not even eating out at all. So we're saving that money and I don't know, it's worth it. So uh, it looks like hubby was in here. I had everything all nice and neat and now it's a little disheveled. Okay, so, um, and you know, I don't want to film when I get the groceries. It's just an annoying process and I just don't feel like filming it. I, I'll show you, I have a table set up in the garage and I showed it in another video and then I put, towels down here for the produce, rinse them in the vinegar or soak them in vinegar water and then dry them. And oh, it's a whole process <laughs> that I don't like doing, but it's better than going to the store where I'd be worried and have to wear a mask and all that thing. So it's worth it for me right now. I probably go back to um, regular grocery shopping after this is over, although I might stretch it out far beyond when they open up the country, yada, yada, yada. Anyway grocery what is in my refrigerator so okay so yesterday i got some almond milk they only i really like the elmhurst that um i know you've heard me talk about in previous videos but they're only allowing one so i got that and then i got this almond milk if i can find a better one then i'll i'll get that but it is carrageen carrageen free and soy free and gluten free of course why wouldn't it be gluten free but the ingredients are much better in that. It's just almonds and water. And then there's milk back there for hubby. And I just filled this up with juice and then there's extra juice here. I actually have another one of these things, um, but it's dirty. So I need to wash that. I usually fill that up. And then this is, my husband put a hurting on that chicken. So we just got a box of chicken from Publix. I guess that's kind of like our takeout for right now. So I think hubby's been eating on it the last couple of days or yesterday and today, anyway. I don't really eat that. And then yogurt, and that's what I have too because I'm not eating dairy. Um, and so I bought eggs yesterday. The, a couple of times when I've gotten the grocery delivery, they didn't have any eggs. And I have lemons and limes in here, and then there's bread. So that's tuna for the cat. Our cats are being super fussy about well, Callie is being super fussy about what she's eating. She doesn't like the same thing twice. So we're having to give her tuna. Anyway, so there's Dave's Killer Bread in there and there's one bun left in there. Um, and I got some a mix of fruit yesterday. This is the leftover shelf. So we are trying to eat our leftovers up. So last night I made spaghetti. So I had that for lunch today. I don't know if hubby's gonna eat that for lunch. I don't really know And there's some leftovers back there that we haven't been eating on and should be but for the most part we do, are eating the leftovers the next day for lunch um we're having tacos tonight and i'll eat that probably for two nights 
our two days for lunch and I got a bunch of onions. We're liking these cuties. And these are the organic green wise apples that I got for juicing. I only have one thing of juice left, so I will be juicing either today or tomorrow. And there's some pineapple and some applesauce back there. Some of this stuff I already had, some I got yesterday. Like I got the all salsa yesterday. I really like this organic salsa. Um, I got the spicy one one time and it was just a little too spicy for me so i'm just getting the mild now and i just have sauces in here um mayonnaise chicken broth beef broth and then avocados i've been getting the bag of avocados because um I f when i get the individual ones they're not in good shape so I, I do get five so that is kind of a lot see and this is left over from last week but today is Taco Tuesday, so I can make some guacamole with that. And I do probably eat an avocado a day. But some days, I guess I don't, because I had extra. And then there's some organic spinach I use for eggs or smoothies, which I haven't been drinking smoothies. I don't know why. I just haven't felt like it, I guess. And um, then I have one thing of juice left that I did from juicing. <sighs> I don't remember. That was too long ago. I was trying to eat, drink that within three days, and I didn't, but... Anyway, it's time to juice again. So, in this drawer is salad fixings. Now, I didn't buy any lettuce this week because we haven't been eating the lettuce and it kind of went bad. So, I decided I'm not getting lettuce this time. And I got a ton of cucumbers because two of those I'm going to use for juicing. And then tomatoes. I will eat tomatoes and cucumbers in like a taco salad or just sliced cucumbers with a sandwich or something and i bought some more cheese because we end up using up all that cheese that i showed in a video where i use my kitchenaid mixer to shred um and i have goat cheese back here because they substituted i wanted the goat cheese with honey but they substituted this and i guess i wasn't paying attention so um and we i got some sour cream Hubby eats mostly that. I have been eating a little bit of cheese and some sliced cheese because I bought some ham. Um, all these is much cheaper for the cheese. Ugh. I think this is like $4. Yeah, and all these I know is $1.85 in the Instacart. So I probably should do an all these delivery one time or another to get grass fed beef and cheese at least. A couple things like that but i don't know it's just easier to just do it this way um and then this is the cheese uh, lunch meat drawer and then there's just sauces and stuff left over for takeout and stuff like that and then these are all the vegetables most of them i got yesterday so these are the organic carrots organic beets and organic celery and then the ginger that um i'm going to use to make to juice with so and I also got some peppers. I've been getting like green pepper, red pepper. I do have some leftover from last week. This is leftover broccoli. I don't know if that's any good. I need to check it. And then this is new mushrooms, a red onion. I have had that. I've not used it. And then carrots was leftover from last week. And then this was leftover from last week. So I'm trying not to buy, other than the juicing, I'm trying not to buy too many veggies because it will go to waste. So there's that and then all this is just stuff i've already had but all this kombucha and i haven't been drinking it <laughs> so i need to do that so that is that for the refrigerator the other thing i like about pogus that i forgot to mention is i really like their quality of produce um when i got all these delivered i wasn't really too happy with it every time i get Publix delivered they have really good quality produce they have good quality produce at the store you know when you go for yourself but i was worried about some somebody else picking out my produce for me but i haven't had any problems so i think that's probably basically because all these has or not all these Publix has good produce in general i've heard some bad stories about people getting produce from walmart and it being not so good i don't know either that or i lucked out on the person that delivered my groceries each time anyway i don't um, i it is more expensive, even when you're not using the Instacart, but I don't know. <sighs> kind of worth it. Oh, and I guess I should mention that um, 
I really like using these little bins and stuff because look how easily you can pull them out and stuff. I did this a while back ago, a couple months ago. I think I did a video. If I can remember, I will link it below. It's just easier instead of having it on the shelf. Just keeps things contained and you can just pull it out. I usually do put hard-boiled eggs in here. Um, I'll put links to these containers where you can get them, but you know, you can get them anywhere. I think Dollar Tree even has them. So, um, these, I usually put hard-boiled eggs in here, but there wasn't enough room because I bought so many, I had so many lemons and limes that I used for my lemon and lime water, um, that I just didn't have room for the, to put the eggs. And I wanted to stock up on the eggs because one time they didn't have it. So, I think we're good on food though. And I know there's a lot of people that can't even do the Instacart because they either don't get delivered or there's just not ever a time slot. I am not having a problem. One time, the first time I had to wait a couple days. Now I can get it delivered the same day. So I'm just um, lucky in the area that we live in. So I here's the freezer. I cleaned this out a couple weeks ago. Never did a video on it. It is amazing to me how nasty the freezer can get. How does it, it's frozen food? <laughs> not sure. Stuff from the refrigerator drops in there. I'm not really sure. Stuff on your hands. I don't know. And the only thing I didn't do was pull out this drawer and clean under there. Yeah, it's dirty. I need hubby to help me with that. So I still need to do that. So on the top drawer, here is all my smoothie stuff. And I have not been eating smoothies. And I don't know why I really should. Just been eating a lot of fresh fruit. Fruit. Um, I need to start eating smoothies again. Here's a, the leftover bag of ice. Most of it's in here. We usually go through a bag every two weeks. And as a treat, we have some of this chocolate chip coffee ice cream. My, you guys, oh, you have to try this. Yes, it's expensive, but we only eat a little bit, and it's worth it. Um, that'll probably last us two weeks. That we'll eat a little nip of it every night after dinner. And oh my god, it's yummy! So I have some leftover sausage crumbles, some butter, mozzarella cheese, some more sausage, and those are just ice packs. So. That's what's in the top drawer. You know, hold on. Okay, I actually had quite a bit of meat still when I ordered yesterday, but hubby wanted me to go ahead and order anyway. So what I have for what I got yesterday for chicken was this um bear just bear natural drumsticks. I usually like to buy the Publix. Um, and by the way, I have heard really good things about Publix that it's super clean. It is always super clean when in there, but especially in this because of the COVID-19 that it has um, gotten some good reviews about how clean it is. And they are going to start putting um, partitions up at the register, you know, glass or probably plastic between you and the checkout person. And anyway, I was real, it's a really clean store and there's usually not a whole lot of people in it like Walmart. To me, it's worth it for now. Um, and I usually shop there anyway. And then I got some chicken tenderloins. Again, I usually get the green ones, but they didn't have any. So that's what they substituted. Um, I think that was, did I get that this week or last week? I don't know. And then that is the green wise chicken thighs because they substituted that last week i don't really like that i'll have to think of something to make with that um and then some more chicken tenderloins and i used up one hamburger yesterday for dinner and i still have another one i bought some hamburgers but hubby eats those i'll eat hamburger only like in spaghetti i don't want to have a hamburger so i split these up so he has two hamburgers for dinner and then we have one steak left and I have one whole chicken left in there. And I bought, last week I bought hubby these, um, this lentil soup, cause he likes lentil soup from Carabas. So that's an option. And this is leftover chicken. So Dave's Killer um, bread bagels were on sale. So I just bought them and froze them. I don't have any problem freezing bread. Of course, I don't really eat those on occasion when I shouldn't. <laughs> You all know the drill. And then this is left over like the crut, the ends of bread and stuff that I use for breadcrumbs. And I think there was some sweet potato fries back there and some frozen broccoli that I'm not sure is any good. That is it for the freezer. And I really do, these are bins from um, 
Ikea and I really do like stacking them upright like this. It just works better and I can see at a glance what I have instead of piling them on top of each other and trying to thumb through everything I have. All these meats fit in those really good. So, and I do have some buns here. Um, I probably will put them in the freezer after we use a couple of them so they don't go bad because we don't tend to use them a lot. Hobby is the one that eats that because they're not gluten free. And we got some spring water. So I got bananas. Yeah. I'm still finishing up my fruit here for lunch. And um, I get as many as I can get that I think usually it's like five or six. I eat a banana every day and I had been without a banana for a couple of days. And I swear I felt it like I need a banana. I'm addicted to eating a banana every morning pretty much when I get up. Okay, now the pantry. Let's see what's left in here. So I have not been buying a whole lot for the pantry. I stocked up a couple weeks ago, but it is looking kind of a little bare. But I don't know. Now that there's more food, I'm not worried about stocking up on canned stuff. But I do need some canned corn and green beans because... On the nights I don't feel like cooking, I do something quick like use the canned corn or green beans and then I use um, one of these packets of rice. I really like this brand. You don't have to cook it. You just open it up and heat it up. And then some, I don't know, maybe like that box of chicken or something like that. I'll do real quick for dinner and then I don't have to cook that that night. So I need to remember to get green beans and corn the next time. And then we've been getting a lot of the tuna, which some of this, there's still some stuff in the garage because that's what I do because it takes so long for me to wipe everything down. I end up using the non, leaving the non-perishable stuff in the garage till I can get to it. Not yet. I did buy some gluten-free pasta. I've mentioned this before. This pasta is really good. I only used about um, two thirds of the box for dinner last night. Um, I used to make the whole box and then, but with this kind of pasta, yeah, it's not that great the next, well, the next day it's fine, but then it starts to get mushy. Um, so I would, if you want to freeze your spaghetti sauce and then use it for the next week, I would just make fresh pasta, obviously, I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I'm, or the next day even. But I did make too much yesterday, so we have leftover pasta. And I still have a thing of the Midi's. Um, I really like this brand of spaghetti sauce. That's what I used in the spaghetti last night. But sometimes I make my own by using diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. And even though I use that, I still put onions, green peppers, and mushrooms in my sauce. Just like that. And down here is taco stuff. That's for hubby. And down here is chips. This is what I use for when we have taco, taco Tuesday for my chicken taco salad. Um, there's some coffee left in there. I haven't done some, anything with it. It was in the freezer at one time. I did take two packages out one time because somebody told me you can, it's old. It's like a year old, two years old. It was in the freezer and um, we don't drink that kind of coffee. So um, I put it in, on my plants. So I plan to do that with the rest of that, I guess. So. And then, oh, I forgot. And then this pizza crust. I've had that for a while, and I still, even before the pandemic, and I still haven't um, used it. I guess I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm like figuring out how to make it and whatever. So, yeah. And, and then again, you know, you guys have seen my pantry before. Maybe if you're new, you're not, you didn't. But I really like having these so you can just pull them, pull everything out instead of stacking it all on the shelf individually. So this is where I keep all of my um, olive oil and like mayonnaise. And then I bought two things of coconut. Yeah, oil. One's on the tray in the corner of the kitchen where I keep um, the stuff to access on an everyday basis. But I had an extra one. I bought an extra one. So I have that. And then hubby's going to be these ramen noodles. Don't ask me about that. And that extra chicken broth, cereal for hubby. And our snacks, we have some snacks here, uh, mostly hubbies. I ate all of my snacks. They were the kind gluten-free chocolate granola bars. I ate them all. I think I'm going to order some. Oh, wait, there might be some in the garage. 
yeah. And then these gummies, hubby likes to take it on his bike ride, so he has something, and he really likes these. Noni's Biscotte. I've had a few, again, when I shouldn't. <laughs> We're actually not snacking that much. <laughs> these have, we've had for a while. Um, yeah, they're yummy. Buy them. These are the salted caramel ones. Yes, they're really good. So, um, we really don't snack that much. I eat a banana for breakfast and then something for lunch and then dinner. And then have like one snack. Yeah. I don't, we're not doing the whole snacking thing too much like everybody else is talking about. We're not like constantly grabbing and taking to the refrigerator. I do have my days where I'm hungry and I'll have some popcorn and then I'll have some fruit. And yeah, but maybe that's once a week. And I still have lots of oatmeal left. A little bit of the gluten-free pancake mix left. This muesli, muesli, um, yeah, I still have some of that left. And then, of course, up here, there's peanut butter and craisins and nuts and pistachios and that kind of thing snack on. Usually, I snack on a spoonful of peanut butter. That's what I like to do. That is, and then that's just regular stuff. I don't know. That is regular stuff. This is just cups and plates. And we are, I did buy some paper plates and stuff like that because, oh my gosh. You'd think with the two of us I could handle it. But it seems like because we're in the house for 24-7 uh, that it's just like getting messed up. <laughs> I know that would be the case with people with children. But it's just the two of us and I'm still not staying on top of it. I don't know what to tell you. I think because I'm not... I don't know, in a hurry to get it done? Just lacks a daisy. Nobody ain't coming over, so it, it doesn't matter. I'll get it done eventually. I don't know. It's kind of a good thing to chill and just meander, but again, it's it's driving me nuts, actually. And I I learned this from um, Sherry at Simply Sherry. I'll put a link to her channel. But she takes all of her Ziploc um bags out of the boxes and she actually has them in her drawer and she uses drawer dividers and puts them in there but I don't really use them that often so I just put them in here this is I think the snack size and these are extra baskets I have and I think this was from Ikea these I got all from Walmart a long time ago and these are the large Ziploc bags and then these are the quart size and I still have some aluminum foil oh is that aluminum foil no, because I don't use aluminum foil anymore. That is plastic wrap. I use parchment paper instead. And this is when I bought, stocked up everything um, just before the pandemic happened or whatever. When you got wind of it, I did a Target stock up and Kleenex was in the at. And I don't know why that's in there. And that's my new Nutribolt. That's how I take it out of the package. That is my juicer box, which I probably can go ahead and get rid of. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done that. I've had it for a while. I think it's time to get rid of that. There's a little bit of remnants from yesterday's grocery haul. I will get the perishable stuff and wipe them out and put it here. So this was the chicken and we just went ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag. I took all the eggs out so I need to do something with this and wash this and probably wash my hands when I'm done talking to you. <laughs> and I guess we emptied that so I need to put that in the recyclable. And then... I don't, I'll just show you real quick because it has nothing to do with the grocery haul. But these are all of our disinfecting things that we just kind of keep in this room. So there's gloves, we have a, one mask, and then alcohol, sanitizer, disinfectant, alcohol wipes, disinfectant wipes, and then this is a mask that I made. You just fold it, you can look it up, and then put these elastic pants on there. It's really easy to make. And I only had to use it one time because I only really been to the store once when this all started i mean i did in the beginning but it wasn't as much of a panic um i had to get my prescription and then i have some more and this is no longer to be found this well that's the bathroom cleaner so i'm using that just in case because i don't have any other disinfectant wipe so this one is nowhere to be found i've tried Publix and target you can't find it I don't know. It is out of stock all the time. So I only have a little bit of that left. But I do have another container of wipes. So, and other cleaners that I'm sure are disaffecting too. Just not 
multi-purpose surface cleaner. See, this is the bathroom cleaner, but it is the seventh generation and it's natural. I'm sure it would be fine if I use that. Yeah, it still kills 100% or 99%. So if I wanted to use it on like doorknobs and that kind of thing, um, I'm sure the faucet, I'm sure. It would be and fine. then yesterday when the person came to deliver the groceries, I brought the um, wagon out to her car so she didn't have to come in the house and she filled it up with bags. I pulled it over here, unloaded it, and then brought it back over here to fill it back up again because it was I, I got a lot of stuff. So here's everything that I have not put away yet because it's not perishable. I'm not gonna touch anything because I haven't washed any, anything yet. And um, we'll just grab wait, one more day and everything will, I'm sure will be fine. I'll probably still wipe it down. But you can see there's some cereal. I did buy nut Cheerios for me because I occasionally I've been eating that. Water, juice, a thing of cat food, Cheez-Its for hubby for a snack. I think there's a thing of rice, soap, Pringles for hubby. That's what he likes to snack on. Um, this is gluten-free. I think it's the King Arthur's gluten-free flour. I thought I would try that to make, I don't know, something with, not sure yet, muffins or something like that. These are the Kind Bars here. There's soup here for hubby, tuna for the cats, paper plates, vinegar. I've been using that for to clean the produce with and mopping the floors with. I like using that plus a little bit of soap and a little bit of essential oils. I've been liking doing that. And then here's my table. And that's all that stuff. I do not saving these plastic bags. I don't know. I don't feel that's right to save the plastic bags and recycle them. I don't know, I guess they wash them, but all my wipes and stuff are in here from cleaning everything down. So I put stuff on this side and clean it down and then put it on that and side. And apparently it's a mail thing too, because how we got the mail and just sets it there. And we usually leave it there for three days and then bring it in the house and then we don't have to worry about infecting ourselves. And yeah, isn't that just fun? I don't want to do this anymore. How about of you? The seventh generation wipes. I can't find that either. I was lucky to get my hands on it in the beginning, but I have been doing, well, I didn't, I did do, I was going to say I've been doing the Target thing, but I think I only did one, no, or two times, and I haven't done it again. It's probably time, but they don't have things like that anyway, and they don't have it at Publix either, so I'm not sure. I mean, I am running out of shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that, so... And the Kind Bars are actually cheaper at Target, so I will get that. So, I don't know. I've mentioned this before. I do not ever see anybody else doing a Target haul. And I'm not talking about you can get Target pickup. You can also get Target. I don't think they use Instacart. I think it's shipped. Same thing. But, you know, that's increased in price like the Instacart is. So, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about online. If you buy $35 worth of... um food, groceries, well, you can't buy perishables. You can buy stuff like Pringles, which I made a mistake of buying Pringles from Target. I don't know, because I couldn't find any at the store. Hubby wanted them, and they came all crushed. He ate them anyway, so whatever. I wouldn't buy that. So um, you can buy cleaning products, all kinds of stuff. Not all food, but you can buy cereal, granola bars, flour, There's some stuff that you can't buy. Some box food, non-perishable box food, you can't buy online. But anyway, you buy $35 worth of stuff from Target and you can get delivered, shipped to your door like Amazon for free. We're not talking about shipped or Instacart. I do not know why people, write down below if you do that. I know some of you have started doing that because I mentioned it. I've been doing that for a long time, at least a year, if not two. It's just easier because Target is further away and it's just easier for me to not buy that stuff at Publix, which is expensive. Paper goods, paper um, paper plates. I did buy them from, from Publix because Target didn't have them right now. Or they were more expensive. I have a check price on that. So, um, I think they just weren't available. I wanted the smaller plates and they weren't available. Anyhow, oh, and that's yeah. it. YouTube behind the scenes. Look like I got emptied the garbage but i actually didn't and there's the mop okay guys that's it for this video i'm going to eat my um the rest of my fruit and watch some of 
Erica, what is their name? Erica, Erica Lucas, that's what her name is. Anyway, trying to get inspired to declutter because I know some of you have asked for some decluttering videos. So I'm gonna try to do that. But for now, I'm gonna go and edit this video, watch some TV, take a chill and relax. And I don't know, try to get something else done today. Until next time, enjoy your day. Oh yeah, and then there's this mess that you didn't see either. And there's Callie in my spot. <laughs>